All right, YouTube, uh, this is Greg Shields, Greg Shields Outdoors. Today we're gonna to film a little bit on episode five. I'm gonna show you my outdoor adventure vehicle and in the backyard, I'm gonna show you a pool conversion of converting an in-ground pool into an outdoor space that we did during COVID because everything was shut down, didn't have anything to do. And I had some friends that still needed some work and I wanted to help them. So we converted the backyard into an outdoor oasis. I'm gonna show you that. And then we're going to fry some fish that we caught and we had some put back. We're going to fry some fish for my father-in-law's 81st birthday today. So we'll do that today and uh, be a good, good day. So join me on another adventure. All right, we're going to head to the backyard. Uh, this backyard, I had a uh, 16 by 30 in-ground pool that uh, we basically just quit using after my daughter uh, left for college and uh, we decided to fill it in and we did it all during COVID and uh, every single bush tree plant that's back here I did myself I got an auger dug every single hole put every single bush in and uh, all the trees even the big trees that were put in when we first moved in and I'll show you up what all we did this uh, this area right here was an in-ground pool uh, that's the cool deck that you see the Jeep sitting on. Uh, filled it in. Where you see the rocks and the uh, pavers was uh, part of the pool. I filled that in with rocks, put pavers down. Uh, this area right here was the uh, steps. So I put down, I think it was about 50 bags of rock and pavers to make that. Uh, we filled it in. It took 14 tandem dump truck loads of dirt to fill the pool in. We weren't going to use it anymore. And, you know, running the pump all day long, leaves getting in it. It was just an absolute nightmare to keep up. So we decided to turn it into a space. So we built this deck, me and two of my friends. Uh, with I think with everything, with all the wood, uh, the labor, everything, everything back here came to a total of about $13,500. I went and bought all the bushes, trees myself, put all them in. And uh, some of the trees are different sizes, but uh, everything else is coming in really nice. As you can see, it's, you know, we had that COVID spell where nobody could do anything. All the stores were closed, so we decided to get busy at home. And we did a, we did a lot of good stuff back here. But this is the covered deck is covered with a uh, gold colored uh copper colored tin it's got uh plenty of room i got seating for uh up to about 16 out here with everything and that's where the pool used to sit and me and my buddy uh built this bar so i got i got electricity i got tv i got ceiling fans lights uh i'm ex-navy so i got my I got my Navy sticker up there, a placard that my sister gave me. But anyway, here's our uh, bar. It's got underneath lights. I keep that screen up there, which is, which is really just a shower curtain until my trees get big enough to keep the sun off the back of the bar from uh, fading out the wood. But anyway, the bar is really nice. It's got undercarriage lights. Uh, it's got uh, shelves. You can stand behind there. Really nice. Uh, my fish cooker's right here. I'm gonna cook some fish for a, a Father's Day, 81st birthday today. So that's gonna be fun. We'll cook those later and I'll show you that finished product. Uh, this is my outdoor adventure vehicle, my Jeep. I'm, re I'm really happy with it. It's just a two-door Wrangler and I keep the back seat taken out because it's just me and my wife here and uh, I never do have more than two people and I got plenty of room in there and I use a, uh, tow behind a little trailer if I happen to have, you know, go deer hunting or stuff like that, but it works out, it works out good. So that's my Greg Shields outdoor adventure vehicle that, that I really like. They, they pull great. Uh, you can't get them stuck and it can go anywhere. And I've named my place Greg's Bar. So I had Cabela's make that. So 
Got that going on, it's pretty nice. And uh, inside my Jeep, I just got just a basic Jeep. I did get the uh, Cabela's leather seat covers. Cabela's Outfitter Series seat covers, which is fantastic. They work great. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the outdoor adventure vehicle. That thing has been everywhere and does everything, and I'm really pleased with it. Great, great thing. And uh, we had our back porch covered where I do my grill in case it rains. So everything, everything works out good, and I got a great outdoor space, seating for 16 to 20, and I'm pleased with it. Anyway, I'll get back with you in just a little bit, and we'll fry some fish and take a look at that. Hi, right, YouTube. We got the grease heating up. We got about 20 more degrees to get to frying. We, uh, we've got a collection of perch. We've got bass. We've got uh, redfish from the ocean. We're fixed to have a heck of a fish fry. And the recipes, that right there is all we use. Louisiana fish fry, a couple of bags of this, and uh, that's all you need. Uh, my wife and her twin sister and uh, her, her husband are doing the hush puppies, french fries, coleslaw over at my father-in-law's house for his birthday. We're gonna do the fish here and then transport them over there. So uh, we're fixing to get busy and I'll show you the finished product when we get done. YouTube, all we do is uh, we pour the, pour the fish fry into our bag. The grease is about ready. We put the uh, fish in here, shake them up, we just put them in the fryer. I'm going to do the big pieces first, and uh, they'll take the longest. And they fry up like a champ. couple of shakes and you're in business they are frying up all right we got some big fillets going uh, we'll have me a Bud Light line normally don't drink at noon, but uh, we're here in Georgia, and if you're cooking out, it's the law, so you got to have one, so there that is. Anyway, we got a lot of fish to fry, and uh, when I get done, I'll show you the finished product in the pan. We'll head over there and have a great lunch from my father-in-law. Cheers to Mr. Quitman Todd. He's 81 today. He's his birthday. Great father-in-law. Great daughter. I've been married to her for 36 years uh, next Tuesday. We'll be heading to Jekyll Island for a, uh, an anniversary party and uh, stay over this, this next couple of weekend. And 36 years, I'd marry her again tomorrow. And I'm, I'm happy. There's, there's nobody happier than me. So I'm, I'm really happy. All right, folks. Uh, the last batch is in the fish cooker. And we're going to head over to the cookout. We've got a, a big mixture of... Uh, brim we've got bass we've got red fish from the ocean we are going to have one heck of a feast one more cook uh basket to dump out and we're gone bon appetit god bless you and thanks for tuning in please like and subscribe to my channel greg shields outdoors have a great day